everybody. So yes, I, I, I think that whenever I say we're going to have an art tutorial, I need to add some kind of disclaimer saying if the conversation is too interesting, we won't have one. Uh, but I wanted, I promised you guys I would teach you how to do an elephant and or a donkey. So I'm going to, I'm a person, I'm a woman of my word. So we're doing this. All right. So I'm going to teach you how to do just that. So uh, it's an elephant and a donkey because uh, as Thomas Nast originated it, uh, an elephant is how a the GOP, the Republicans, have typically been indicated in a you know editorial cartoon. Uh, donkeys for the Democrats. So um, I'm going to teach you how to do an elephant first because they're honestly easier. Okay, so you're going to start with a circle as always. And you're going to do that um, feature guideline for yourself. And one weakness I've noticed I have is that I'm often tempted to make it cute by accident. Let's be honest, the Republicans are not being great lately. I mentioned I have a cartoon coming out tomorrow um, with uh, the Republicans being depicted, uh, the Republican elephant being depicted sitting on top of five coffins. They're not being great. He's like king of the coffins. So we're going to do an elephant. And he's going to look mean. And one way that you do that is you make it look as little like a baby as possible. And what that means is you uh, make as many points of texture and change in the skull and uh, anatomical structure as possible. Essentially, you add weird details <laughs> and limit the curves that you see. And that's legitimately a biological thing. I've talked before on this show about how to make something look cute. And it's legitimately like a human instinct thing to look at a cartoon character that has, that has curves, if you'll pardon the expression, um, and say, oh my gosh, that looks like a, a human child biologically and silently, you know, in your brain. Uh, look, I'm making him cute. It was an instinct. I'm going to make him not cute. So I'm said I'm going to have him <coughs> doing some kind of expression like this. See the cheeks are like, look, that's my instinct at this point. So I'm going to block those out kind of. Another way to do it is kind of the bushy eyebrows, but kind of long and tapering eyebrows. And that's how I do my Trump. So you have kind of the squiggle, swirl thing at the end to make it look like a Disney villain. All right. And then you have kind of the weird, I'm sure there's a word for, you know, the thing that he has on the end. Trunk looks like a chicken leg. It does. A little bit for some reason. Yeah, that's weird. It looks like a mermaid tail. <laughs> okay. Another way to make something not look cute. Oh, llamas are us. Say, hey, dude. <laughs> you know, I talk about you. <laughs> I'm like, the llama dude isn't here yet. I, I'm, I'm bracing myself in a Pavlov sort of way to be, you know, told by the llama dude to get drawing. You came. I'm so happy. Okay. All right. This, by the way, is a black wing pencil. Um, I got it through my Art Snack subscription. They're not sponsoring this channel, but they could be. And uh, it's like a subscri monthly subscription box that delivers art supplies to your house. It's very fun. It's, you know, simple pleasures in life. Yeah, llamas. Are, yeah, that's right. Okay. So that guy, this this guy is upset about something. He thinks he's being canceled or something. If you were here for the other conversation. There he is. All right. So there's your basic, you know, angry elephant face. And because he's the Republican elephant, we're going to give him, you know, a suit. Does she ever draw, you know, anything but animals sitting at desks looking disgruntled? No, I don't. Thank you for asking. 
And that's another thing. And this is an artistic inter. <laughs> he looks like the one percent. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Might tweet that later and credit it to you. Um, <clears throat> um, yeah. W one point of artistic interpretation that cartoons can't really agree on is to. And I think I'm the only person in the world who's ever noticed this. You know, as it should be. Uh, you shouldn't care about this. Uh, but. Um, there is not consensus that I have seen as to whether you draw the Republican elephant and, dem and donkey with um, hooves or fingers or not. Like I see people do it both ways and it's something no one talks about. Um, but again, I shouldn't talk about it. Um, but I'm going to give him the hooves or, you know, the elephant foot thing. Cause I think it's really weird looking. If you've ever read um, Alice in Wonderland or re look at read and gotten like a copy of Alice in Wonderland with the original, I think his last name is Tenniel, I want to say, the illustrator for the original one. He drew the dodo with hands. <laughs> and it's really messed up. That haunted me as a kid. You know, I was about to give him... What you can give him like a little thumb. I don't think that that's weird, or as weird as it could be. He's going say no to gun reform or something like that. I don't know something terrible that he should be. He's terrible, mean elephant. Again, the cartoon coming out tomorrow is about how it's a Grim Reaper elephant. This is for the Lincoln Project. The Grim Reaper elephant sitting. Something one percent y over here. You know, you could you could be testifying at Congress. Move up my sketchbook a little bit. He's testifying at Congress. You do, Mister Mister One Percent. He's found his like microphone. There you go. There he is. He's testifying at Congress for some reason. If I if it weren't late, I could think of something interesting to put here. But yeah, there he is. There's an elephant. All right. And I'm just going to do a very basic little donkey over here. <laughs> Gonna do a little basic little donkey over here and then let our poor producer go to sleep. Okay, so thinking of obviously thinking about the Shrek donkey just a little bit. Got the big tall ears and the round head and kind of the round muzzle. And I'm just gonna, I'm sorry, I'm gonna make him look cuter because he's a good guy at the moment. Not always, but one thing you can do is give him a little buck tooth. It's kind of cute. One thing you want to do, and I didn't do it there, is make sure that the uh, cheeks are on the same plane, that his face is symmetrical. You have the ear hair, I guess. Actually, might be funny if they're sitting next to each other for some reason and he was looking on disapprovingly. <coughs> Got the little nostrils. <laughs> oh, what did I say that made Sourcestream go, aw? I wonder what I said. <laughs> You're welcome, or yes, I know it was an intelligent thing to say. One of the two responses. I wish my face was symmetrical. I do too, but I think asymmetry is often more interesting to look at personally. So, so there, screw the haters. Oh <laughs> yeah, I feel bad. I just, I guess I need to get less interesting guests is the problem. Let's see, there we go. I want you guys to be able to sleep. Also, for some reason I made him significantly shorter so I'm just going to have him like weirdly poking up like this. 
That's cute. Again, the tooth is key. Actually, that's kind of funny. Like, it's kind of like Zootopia, where I in in the art book. <laughs> this guy's little hooves. In the art book for Zootopia, they're like, yeah, we really tried to get things to scale and then have had fun with it. Like, we are well aware that the giraffe and the mouse are going to be living in the same city, and we need to think about that while designing the city, right? Because it has to accommodate animals of both, yeah. Of bo uh, both height differences, I guess. And frankly, this is like giving the donkey way too much credit. <laughs> or, you know, rightfully denying the elephant of his stature. What should his name be? Yeah, you should watch Zootopia. Yeah, you know, I'm lately I've been trying to decide if Zootopia is one of those Disney movies that you can actually watch on repeat. Because for me, I don't know. It's lately it's kind of ref it's re too reflective of reality. <laughs> and I've been thinking about that. Like when I hopefully get to direct and run a movie someday, it's like, do I want to make a movie that says serious things in a serious way or do I want to make a movie that people are going to watch over and over again and insert subliminal themes that they're going to get especially well because they'll be watching the movie over and over again that's legitimate that's a question I've been asking myself lately I don't have an answer so yeah there we go I think we've accomplished our goal there it is <laughs> how long that take me I think that took uh, 10 minutes or so see you know um, like what Terry was saying it really doesn't take that long to put together something uh, you know, a sketch or something, you know, at whatever level you're at and, you know, put it online. It doesn't take too much effort. It will take less and less effort, I guess, as you uh, grow in your skill set. And then you can, you know, as the construction of the bodies takes less and less effort, you can start putting effort into the coloring, things like that. There you go. There are your drawings. Uh, yeah, Zootopia or Shrek. I'm going to have to say Zootopia on that one. <laughs> I think there's more you can learn and take away into the real world from Zootopia than you can take away on Sh from Shrek. But Shrek is awesome in its own right. All right. Have a great night, everyone. Have a wonderful night. Thank you for sticking around. So grateful. Be sure to follow. Um, I ran out of space down here. I'm going to do at Alexandra Bowman Art on Instagram. And at scripta underscore bene on Twitter. It's a bird. <laughs> All right, everyone. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. Thank you so much for tuning in. Tune in every Tuesday at 7 p.m. for more of this. And uh, don't forget to follow and subscribe to Source Stream, uh, both here on Twitch and on YouTube. And don't forget to follow us on all of our social media platforms as well. All right. Have a great night, everyone. Catch you soon. Bye-bye. This is fine.